subscribe. Hey everyone, it's Adrienne Finch and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. For the past six years, I've been making YouTube videos revolving around tech, productivity, lifestyle, things like that, and how I run and operate my business. I'm obsessed with all things productivity. And so in today's video, I wanna give you guys a glimpse into what tools and apps and products I personally use to maximize productivity, especially working at home. So first I'm gonna walk you through what products and equipment I actually have and what I use every single day as a content creator. Then I'll show you guys the specific apps and programs that I use to plan YouTube videos and Instagram posts and kind of maintain and manage my crazy content creating schedule. If you're a productivity nerd like me, I think you will love this video. I've spent years trying to find the perfect solutions and systems for me and my workflow. And now that I think that I've found it, I just feel so in my element and I'm able to be so much more creative and just actually focus on the work and not on the logistics. So thank you so much to Logitech for sponsoring today's video. Their products have actually been a huge reason for my increase in productivity. And I finally feel like my workspace has transformed. It feels complete. And I can't wait to show you guys those products later on in the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the products and equipment that I use for work. So the first thing is this MacBook 15 inch retina display laptop. This computer is a little bit of a hefty guy, but it is everything I need for editing. It's powerful enough to actually manage all of my footage. I do work off of an external hard drive so that I don't just fill up my storage. This laptop is what I use to do most of my work. Along with the laptop, I use this every single day is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3 wireless mouse. I am not kidding when I say I bring this everywhere I go in my purse, in my backpack. I bring it to my boyfriend's house. There's something just very powerful feeling about using a mouse. I don't know what it is, but trackpads are so yesterday. All you do is plug it in and it connects instantly via Bluetooth. Plus you can switch seamlessly between three different devices, which I think is awesome. Next, the newest addition to my workstation is the Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam. So this can shoot up to 4K, which is insane. And it's really taken my video calls to the next level. I was honestly just very sick of the camera on my computer being such bad quality. And I'd be teaching workshops and talking to my community and just having meetings. And as someone who you know likes to create content and make videos, it really bothered me. Um, so installing this was a huge game changer. Again, super easy to install, which was awesome. And I can easily just take it off if I need to and put it back on. Next, I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I actually just upgraded from the XS Max that I've had forever. And you guys know I used to make so many iPhone videos. I literally haven't because I've had the same phone for like three years, very unlike me. But I can already tell what a huge difference this makes for content creating. The cameras are incredible. Everything is just so much more sharp. And I've already been filming stuff on here, which makes me just so much more excited to create content, which is awesome. I definitely plan on making more iPhone related videos for you guys. So let me know if you have any suggestions down below and I'll definitely film those. Speaking of Apple products, I do have the iPad Pro 12 inch or 12.9 inch or whatever. It may seem a little redundant to uh, have all these products and believe me, I was skeptical at first. Like, do I need this? Do I need a phone, an iPad and a computer? The answer is no, of course I don't need it. But I am happy to say that each device serves a totally unique and equally important uh, role in my day-to-day -day work. So I'll show you later on in the video what I kind of use each for. And of course I have the Apple Pencil along with this iPad iPad, which makes what I do on here that much more fun. I'll show you in a second. And then with the iPad, I have the Logitech wireless keyboard. Oh my God, this has been another game changer. Not only can I hook it up to my laptop if I don't feel like having my hands up here, even though it's ergonomical and maybe I should, um, but I actually just really like being able to switch between three devices on here. So I can use this keyboard for my laptop and then I can easily just grab my iPad, grab my keyboard and go over if I'm recording a podcast or if I'm going into bed and I wanna be typing some stuff. I just love the portability of this keyboard. It's lightweight, it's easy to carry, easy to use. That's really what I love about the Logitech solution set. They're really all about owning your workstation and like making it work for what you need in your day-to-day -day life. Obviously work has changed these past couple years. I've totally upgraded my workstation. I am so happy and all of these products have worked so seamlessly with my workflow. All right, so those are the products that I use for kind of my normal day-to-day -day workflow. When it comes to camera equipment, I use the Canon 90D, which is my DSLR. So that's the more cinematic camera that I use for like sit down videos, except for this right here. Then I have the Canon G7X, which is what I'm filming on right now. It's very portable and just easy to take around for vlogging and just simpler stuff. Then I have the Blue Yeti microphone for recording my podcast. 
I've loved it so far, it's been awesome. But we don't need to get too much into that type of equipment. So now let's talk about kind of my day-to-day -day workflow, what programs and apps I use to manage, you know, planning all of my content and scheduling all of my content and actually getting that work done. So let's go. All right, so every single video that I create starts with an idea and sometimes it's random, sometimes I have to create an idea for a project. So once I have that idea, I go over to my desk and the very first thing I do is input it into this program called Airtable. I have talked about Airtable several times before. It is what I use to plan out all of my content. It helps me to just be able to strategically jot down ideas and actually put the status of each project, the date I wanna upload, any notes that I have. And eventually I could put the thumbnails in, the links in. Um, I also use this program for Instagram. It's really cool. You can see the graphics that you make or upload. Uh, but really what I do to plan my Instagram feed is use this app on my phone called Unum. You can pretty much see what your feed could look like. You can also set reminders for the app to give you a notification when it's time to post a photo. So this just takes a lot of the stress of like constantly pumping out content off of my plate because it runs in the background and just helps remind me when to post things on various platforms, which is super nice. So that was more for scheduling and organizing my ideas. Now when it's time to actually begin a video, I either use Google Docs or I use Good Notes on my iPad to basically write out and an entire outline or sometimes even a script for a video. And sometimes I'll put like notes on what shots I want and things like that. I usually use Google Docs because it's just faster, but it is always nice to be able to draw things. So once my video is planned, I usually set up the camera and my ring light for whatever shot I'm gonna take sitting down and actually talking to camera. I typically do that first and then I'll get any B-roll that I need. Once everything is set up, I go sit down to actually film. And again, what I love about my new kind of workstation and all of my portable products from Logitech is that I can pretty much just bring them with me, literally have them in my lap, use the keyboard, use the iPad to actually read off of and adjust my script if necessary. So that's what I do for that. So next, when I'm done filming, I always make a thumbnail. Sometimes I do even just a little draft of a thumbnail just to save an air table because oftentimes I don't upload for a few weeks or months. So here I'm doing like a super rough draft. I use Procreate on my iPad to insert any photos. And then I love this handwritten text look lately. Again, this is super rough, but I'll kind of give myself a mapped out version of what it is. And then I'll actually upload the rough thumbnail right into Airtable so that when I revisit it, when it's time to upload and actually make the real thumbnail I have an idea again the handwritten thing is really really cool there's so much you can do on procreate so I've been obsessed with that app lately I've been really trying to use it in graphics and thumbnails and I love it and finally I actually edit my video so I use Final Cut Pro 10 and pretty much edit everything that I do over there all right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any other video recommendations, leave them down below. Remember to check out Logitech and all of their awesome products. I highly encourage you guys, no matter where you're from, who you are, to take control, not only of your life and your happiness, your success, but of your workstation, of your environment. The work that I do every single day feels like so much more than just a job to me. It is my home, it's what fulfills me. And with the right tools, it is just life upgraded. So let me know what you guys think. Check out their products using the link in my description box and tag me in any photos of your workstation. I want to see what workstation you've created and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.